Okay, so I was originally going to review Bumblebee a few weeks ago, but I slacked off, and now I just saw Aquaman yesterday, so I figured I'd do two reviews in one video. So here we go. Let's start with Bumblebee. Bumblebee is the greatest Transformers film ever. This movie is like Into the Spider-Verse good. The pacing was a little weird, but this film was still good. I was a little disappointed not to see Megatron during the opening Cybertron sequence, but hey, Optimus, Soundwave, Shockwave, RC, and Ratchet are still as great as a Megatron cameo. At least that entire Cybertron sequence didn't feel like fan service. And now that I think about it, I think a Megatron cameo would have just been blatant fan service. And another first of this franchise, the human characters won't make you bored out of your mind. Even Charlie's little brother's enjoyable. Alright, I want to make this video quick, so I'm going to get into spoilers right now, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, I'm going to talk about those two Decepticons that were shown in the previews. I'm only going to mention one spoiler about them, but anyways, they were pretty good in the film. In the Bayformers films, the Decepticons were a lot cooler in terms of design, but in the film, these two proved themselves to be as ruthless as the Bayformers Decepticons. Like, Dropkick has a ray gun that when fired at a human, it pops them into a gooey liquid like they were just some sort of bubble. That's friggin' terrifying. At least it's not as disturbing as this one scene from Age of Extinction. The movie does have a big battle, much like the Bayformers movies. And we have it at a military base. Hey, wait a minute. This movie feels like a beautifully crafted, action-packed, heartfelt apology to the fans for Transformers. The last movie we'll ever make. So anyways, the Bayformers franchise got canned, and Travis Knight gave us this beauty in return. So all in all, this movie gets a 98%. Alright, now on to the next movie. Black Panther is a spectacular movie. Although the pacing in this movie is a little weird, the visuals, the acting, and that grade A plus villain make up for it. Wait, we're not talking about Black Panther? Oh, okay. Aquaman is similar to Black Panther in a few ways, or I just took one look at the Atlanta scenes and said, that's definitely not a certain aloof African nation from the Marvel Universe. But anyways, this movie is flawed, but it's good. It wasn't as great as I was expecting it to be, but I mean, this is the DCE we're talking about here. And if you just take one look at their previous movies, I don't think my expectations should have been that high for this movie. But this is one of the better DCU films, not Wonder Woman great, but still pretty good. Black Mana was a character I loved since my childhood, and when I heard he was going to be in the film, I was super excited. Seeing him in the previews, I knew he was going to have a lot of potential to be a pretty good bad guy. Walking into the theater, this was going through my head. Maybe Black Mana will be a great and enjoyable villain. Like he is, Aquaman's arch nemesis after all. Oh, oh wow! He only has 5 to 10 minutes of screen time, and most of it is just building up to David actually becoming Black Mana. And the Black Mana part doesn't even come to the middle of the movie in a fight scene in Sicily. And he gets KO'd by Aquaman, and is never seen again until the after credit scene. Which we will talk about that after credit scene later. Black Mana should have been the villain of Aquaman, not Ocean Master. He could have been a great villain. It's just another example of wasted film potential. Also, this movie did not end with Ocean Man, which I am a little disappointed with, but it's okay. When it comes out on digital, I'll be sure to make an edit of it like I do with the Bendy and the Ink Machine credits. Ocean Master, or I'll call him by his identity, Orm, is a pretty good villain. Patrick Wilson looks like he's having a blast playing him. Also, he screams and battle cries. A lot. And it has never known defeat. <laughs> Another thing, I didn't really feel emotionally enveloped in Tomorrow on Aquaman. Like, you need us to feel for the main characters, writers. By the way, one of the writers in this film is Will Beale, and he also did Venoms, which I can see why I feel nothing for the characters. Jump. Pussy. <laughs> but. This film still is entertaining, much like the other DCEU films. 
I do want a movie in the future like Wonder Woman that isn't a shit movie, but is entertaining at the least. I want a DCEU film that actually has character development, a well-written screenplay, and not to be dark and edge like every other DCEU film. Another reason why I like this film is that it doesn't fit in with the other films, DCEU films, I mean. It's not edgy, it's goofy. Not Sam Raimi Spider-Man goofy, or Adam West Batman goofy, but it's a goofy fun film, much like how Venom was. Aquaman was not a great film, but definitely one of the better DCEU films. The Trench Warriors probably have the fourth best movie creature design of this year. The Lovecraftian parts of this movie are definitely some of my favorite details of the movie. Oh, and before I end my Aquaman review, I'll talk about that post credit scene like I said I was going to. So yes, Black Manor survives with the help of this conspiracy theorist guy we see at the beginning of the film, like earlier into the film. He's in the news, like in this news clip. I, I completely forgot about him. And the end part of this scene basically tells us that Black Manor is returning possibly in another DCEU film or in an Aquaman 2. Seeing that he survived, hear me out on this. Maybe for a Justice League 2, the villains could quite possibly be for that movie, again, hear me out, the Legion of Doom. I mean, we already have Lex Luthor, and now Black Mana. The future DCEU films could introduce the rest of the gang, and they could be bona fide villains. Anyways, my rating for Aquaman is a 72%. I'll see you guys in the next review. girls and the popular girls and I look like <laughs>